planning your next vacation, maybe even considering Vietnam, let me invite you to take a relaxing walk through the charming streets of Hoi An. Ready? Hello my friends, greetings from beautiful Hoi An, ancient city, UNESCO site, and very popular tourist destination. Welcome to Hoi An, one of Vietnam's most beautiful and historic cities. In this video, I'm going to take you on 30 few minutes walking tour of Hoi An. We'll explore the rich history, vibrant food scene and popular tourist sites. Plus, I'll give you some insider tips on what to eat, where to stay, uh, how to save money and how to avoid common tourist traps. Hoi An is an ancient town located on the central coast of Vietnam. It was once a major trading port during the 15th to 19th century, attracting merchants from all over the world, including China, Japan and Europe. The town's well-preserved architecture is a blend of these cultures making it a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As you walk through the narrow streets, you will see a mix of wooden Chinese shop houses, French colonial buildings and Japanese-style bridges. The iconic Japanese covered bridge is a must-see built in the early 17th century. It's a symbol of Hoi An's rich history and multicultural heritage. Hoi An is a small town, making it perfect for exploring on foot or by bicycle. The town is divided into several areas, the ancient town, the riverside and the countryside. The ancient town is where you will find most of the historical buildings, museums and shops. The riverside area is great for dining and enjoying boat rides on the Tu Bon River. If you are up for a short trip, the countryside offer beautiful rice fields and traditional villages. Hoi An is known for its incredible food scene, blending flavors from different cultures. Some must-try dishes include Khao La, a local noodle dish with pork and greens, and Banh Mi. Uh, Banh Mi is a Vietnamese sandwich that been called one of the best sandwiches in the world. For those with a sweet tooth, try the local dessert called Ban Bao Vac, also known as a white rose dumplings. The people of Hoi An are friendly and welcoming. Many locals speak basic English, especially those in the tourist industry, so don't hesitate to ask for help or recommendations when in need. When in Hoi An, be sure to visit these popular sites. Number one, Japanese Covered Bridge. As mentioned earlier, this bridge is one of the Hoi An's most iconic landmarks. Number two, Hoi An Market. Located by the riverside, this bustic market is where you can find fresh produce, souvenirs and local delicacies. Uh, many delicacies. Number three, Assembly halls. There are several Chinese assembly halls in Hoi An, each dedicated to different gods and goddesses. There are beautiful examples of Chinese architecture. Number four, Old House of Tan Kai, a well-preserved merchant house that shows what life was like in Hoi An centuries ago. Number five, Museum of Folk Culture. This museum showcases traditional Vietnamese costumes, tools and crafts. Hoi An is generally very affordable, but prices can vary depending on where you go. A meal at a local eatery can cost you as little as 2-3 dollars, while a more upscale restaurant may charge 10, 15 or even more. Entrance fee to the ancient town are around six dollars for a pass that lets you visit multiple sites. 
When it comes to money exchange, it is best to use authorized exchange counters or banks. Avoid exchanging money on the streets as you may get scammed with low rates or fake bills. ATMs are widely available around, but they can charge high fees, so it is wise to withdraw larger amounts at once to minimize charges. Hoyan is also a great base for day trips. Number one, My Son Sanctuary. About one hour drive from Hoyan, this ancient Hindu temple complex is another UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number two, Cham Islands. A short boat ride from Hoyan, these islands are perfect for snorkeling, diving, and relaxing time on the beach. Number three, Trakwe Vegetable Village. Just a few kilometers from the town center, this village is known for this organic farming. You can even join a farming tour uh, to experience local agriculture. For relaxing experience when in Hoyan, you can take a boat ride on the Tu Bon River at sunset. Prices for a boat ride can range from $5 to $20 depending on the duration and the type of the boat. It's a peaceful way to end your day and admire the beauty of Hoi An. Like many other popular tourist destinations, Hoi An has its share of scams. There are not many of them, so you don't have to be very worried or uh, concerned. However, here is how to avoid those basic scams. Rule 1. Agree on prices. Always agree on a price before accepting any service, whether it is taxi, ride, a boat trip or guided tour. Or even if someone is offering you some sample, food sample on the street or something like that. I know it's supposed to be a sample, but sometimes this sample may turn into a person asking you for unreasonable amount of money for small donut or some other specialty, local specialty. Rule number two, watch out for overcharging. Some shops and restaurants and sellers may try to charge tourists higher prices. We call it tourist tax. It's a good idea uh, to check prices at multiple places before making a purchase. Number three, fake goods. Be cautious when buying branded goods. If the price seems too good to be true, it probably is. It's of course your choice, you can buy it or not, but my suggestion, my suggestion is stick to buying local products and souvenirs. One more advice, don't fall into the trap of uh, someone approaching you and trying to fix your shoes, either those are sandals or any other shoes. Uh, basically, your shoes may be even destroyed, they will play with it, they will clean it or whatever, but uh, it's not worth it, it's practically the scam. Hoyan offers a variety of accommodation options, from budget hostels to mid-range hotels. For backpackers and budget travelers, here are some recommended areas and options. Option 1. Ancient Town. Staying here puts you right in the heart of Hoyan. There are plenty of budget hostels and guest houses like Hoyan Downtown Hostel or Bed Station Hostel. Option 2. Come 4. Just outside the ancient town, this area is quieter and offers cheaper options like Golden Bell Homestay or Jolia Villa Hoi An. And of course, how could we forget about the most popular ways, uh, Booking.com and Airbnb. Both platforms offer a wide range of options in Hoi An. On Airbnb, you can find cozy homestays for as low as $15 per night. On Booking.com, 
mid-range hotels start around $30, $40 per night. If you are planning to stay longer for one month, I really would recommend uh, checking with Airbnb uh, because if you are staying for 27 or 28 days, it depends on the host, you may get really decent discount or, uh, on Airbnb and instead of $800 pay $500 or even less for pretty decent uh, accommodation. Let's talk weather and some other helpful information. In regards to weather, uh, Hoyan has a tropical climate with a rainy season and dry season. A rainy season is from September to January. Uh, I would recommend that you would plan your visit during the dry season for the best experience. However, uh, I am here now uh, in, uh, on the beginning of September and it's not raining at all. So, it's your risk. Regarding getting around, uh, bicycles are uh, a popular and eco-friendly way to explore Hoi An. Many hotels and guest houses offer free bikes for guests. And of course, you can remember about uh, Grab, which is uh, like Uber you know, in many other countries. And Grab is very, very affordable here. Travel insurance. It's always a good idea to have a travel insurance, especially if you plan to rent a motorbike or to go for adventurous day trips. And for sure, if you like some extreme activities. Last but not least, connectivity. Uh, for example, very important for digital nomads. Uh, most hotels and cafes offer free Wi-Fi, so staying connected won't be an issue. Uh, most Airbnbs as well offer uh, free Wi-Fi, so you shouldn't have any major problems here. Overall, Hoi An is a charming town that offers a perfect mix of history, culture and relaxation. Whether you are a budget traveler or just looking for an affordable getaway or maybe even luxury seeker, Hoi An has something for everyone. I hope that this walking tour is giving you a good idea of what to expect and how to make the most of your visit. You probably did notice there is approximately 20 more minutes of this video, right? Well, uh, my idea is to leave you on your own to explore the city, this charming uh, city, like you are walking by yourself without my annoying voice. That being said, I wanted to say goodbye and I wanted to thank you for watching uh, so far. If you did like the content, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more travel tips and guides. Happy travels and hope to see you again!